Article moves to reconcile with G5 governors. Mm. So, Article is ready now to reconcile with the G5 governors and not willing to move on without them. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, had reportedly directed members of his camp to meet with the five aggrieved governors of the party identified as G5. The aggrieved governors had vowed not to support Atiku in 2023 if the national chairman of the party, Iyo Chia Ayu, refused to resign from the office. Atiku, who is not willing to move on without the aggrieved governors in his train ahead of the 2023 presidential election, has reportedly taken steps to reconcile with them. A source that spoke with Sunday's son said the former vice president had directed members of his kitchen cabinet to reach out to the governors. The source further stated that Atiku also reached out to former president Goodluck Jonathan to intervene. The source, however, stated that Jonathan's intervention may prove counterproductive as Atiku's men, who are expected to meet with the former president, also worked against Jonathan's re-election bid in 2015. Hmm, what goes around comes around. So according to the source, former president Olusegun Obasanjo is unwilling to support Atiku as he did in 2019. The source also the source said Obasanjo may have given his support to the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. The source claimed that certain PDP leaders and some stakeholders expected to prevail on the five governors are opposed to the emergence of Atiku. He revealed that the leaders before the president presidential primaries of PDP which was won by Atiku, had insisted that it was the turn of the South to produce Nigeria's next president. The source said Atiku's campaign is struggling, even if the, he might not want to admit it. The support he expected from the people is not coming. He has realized that he needs the governors to win this election. He had the chance and missed the opportunity. Now, the five aggrieved governors are recruiting more people to join them. And if Atiku doesn't move fast, Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State will join the G5 governors. Maybe they will become G6. As I speak, there is no prominent PDP leader from the South who is with Atiku. Those people parading themselves as Southern PDP leaders can't win election in their villages. The problem now is that the people who can prevail on Wiki and other governors are those uh, Tiku offended in the past. He has offended Jonathan and even worked against him in 2015. So he undermined Obasanjo in, 20, in 2003. He worked against Odili in 2007. Edwin Clark doesn't want to even see Atiku for working against Jonathan in 2015. Same thing with Ibode George. Wow. So leaders of Ohana Zendigbo who worked for him in 2019 can't openly support him. These people I have mentioned are those who can prevail on these, these aggrieved governors to work with Atiku. The source added that Atiku may have the support of the North but won't get a landslide victory because the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Ravi Kwankwaso, will drag the votes with him in the North. He noted that Atiku's vote will be affected in the Northeast because of the presence of the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Kasim Shetima. The source who claimed that the presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Tinubu, can boast of 80% of votes from the Southwest said Atiku can't do the same in the North. He said with Obi in the race, Atiku has lost Southeast and cannot boast of 30% in the South-South over issues with Mwike. The source said Atiku is careful of upsetting his Northern Muslim support base, which does not want him to associate with Mwike. So the PDP member said if Atiku concedes some grounds and positions 
to the to the G5 governors, he will gain their support. The source said why Tinubu is willing to concede some cabinet positions to the to the G5 governors. Atiku, on the other hand, is unwilling to commit himself. Hmm. The source warned that if Atiku's kitchen cabinet members mean well for him, they need to tell him the truth now. The G5 governors must be brought on board before the end of November, or PDP can just bid Asorok goodbye. Wow, this is a serious one. So there are two things here. All right. There are two things here. Atiku is moving to reconcile with G5 governors, while Obasanjo is also against presidential his presidential ambition, having known him too well. So all the um the issues around Atiku has been enumerated here. One is that he because of the way he won the the presidential uh, uh, ticket in PDP against Mwike and also refused to allow Yokia Ayu to resign as the party chairman as demanded by Mwike. All of these are issues around him and is unwilling to commit himself as well. Now he has made several moves, all right, but the moves are not working. Now, Sasi said he approached Jonathan, all right, to help talk to Wiki to calm down so that they can work together. But it didn't work because what Jonathan had to distance himself from all of this. Reason being because it's recorded that in 2015, Atiku is among the people that worked against Jonathan to lose that election that brought in Buhari into power till today. So now he cannot work against Jonathan in 2015 and now needs Jonathan's support now. All right. So he also said that he, of course, he offended Obasanjo greatly. Obasanjo is not interested in supporting him. And so he's saying Obasanjo is already supporting Peter Obi silently. All right. Obasanjo will never support Atiku's uh, presidential bid. Having known Atiku and worked with him between 1999 and that, uh, and then 2007 or so. All right. And, and that was, if you read uh, Obasanjo's book, my watch you will see what he said about Atiku. and he also said it openly that he, he had allowed Atiku to become president of nigeria that even god wouldn't have forgiven him so that is a no-go area now he cannot talk to Basanjo. all right now the people in uh, Igbo land southeast that worked for him for for him so i supported him in 2019 cannot openly support him now because the 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 political atmosphere has changed Peter Obi is already taking the vote, greater percentage of the vote in the south, uh, southeast. Tinubu is already taking the greater portion of the vote in the southwest. In the northeast, we have Kashim Shetima there still for APC. And again, in the north central, they are not even saying it, that with the presence of uh, 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 Baba Dati Ahmed, all right, supporting Peter B as vice president, he's also going to share the vote there. So the vote or in the north is already scattered. Even though sources are saying that um, um, you know he has stronghold in the north, the stronghold is already getting scattered. Now NNPP Krokwaso is there also in Kano, also watching very strong. But though sources are suspecting. Kwankwaso, that at the dying minute, he might down his tools and uh, surrender his party to Atiku. And it's possible Atiku can buy him over and buy all his party and his member. And then the next day thing we hear is that Kwankwaso and NNPP are stepping down for Atiku. But then how many votes will that give Atiku? All right. How many votes will that give Atiku? Because already Tinubu and APC are already also working there with Ganduji in that same state. And there's already a confusion in the APC anyway in that state too that are trying to resolve. They say Ganduji has not been able to resolve among the two uh, party chieftains in that state. So the political landscape has drastically changed and Atiku is losing grip. And this might be his last chance of trying to become the president of Nigeria. So all of this, he has instructed his kitchen cabinet members to do something and approach this G5. If not, they are already saying that uh, the Bauchi state governor is ready to join them to become G6. So Anguike uh, 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 is busy uh, campaigning and recruiting more people to himself in the south 
spend the south, east, southwest, south, south, and middle belt to make sure that I mean, uh, 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 Atiku does not go anywhere. And the guy is pulling strong force. And Atiku now is unwilling to move further without getting this G5 back into his team. But it's proving difficult for him. He is not to be trusted anyway. So, so he in on, in on, in on shit before using not an agenda. It's too late for him to cry. Somebody is saying here, it is too late. Damage done already. Your, your, your greed for power led to the disintegration of PDP. Yes. He used and used dollar to buy all the delegates and then bought over Tambua that disappointed Mike during the PDP presidential primaries. So the greed is too much. The damage done is too deep. Yes, that's what somebody is saying here as well. I thought you have something better to tell us. Even if Atiku considered to the G5 demand, he will never be president of Nigeria. The fact that the that Fulanese feel without them, no ethnic group qualified to rule this country, our eyes have opened. You see? So being a Fulani too, so they are also looking at him with the Fulani desperation. They are already feeling that ruling Nigeria is a better right. And that is the basic thing driving Atiku to become the president of Nigeria. As a Fulani, it's his right to, to rule Nigeria. It's not going to work. Our eyes have opened. All right? Please, did General Basanjo win election in the unit in front of his house when he became the president? He is against Atiku's ambition. That is what? Oh, that totem saga, the Nigeria who is a patron. Leave that in. Somebody is trying to accuse Basanjo. Basanjo government was not as bad as this. He saw Nigeria, but he held Nigeria closer and tighter, better than any other president. So, yes. Whether we like it or not, Atiku uh, Basanja was one person that South East, South West, and even the North supported. The only person that is respected nationwide today and internationally. So there's nothing there. All right. So that is what is happening between Atiku, his kitchen cabinet, the PDP G5 aggrieved governors, and the rest of the stakeholders that Atiku wants to uh, help him quell this situation so that they can, they can move on. Thank you for listening, and let's have your comment below.